Jumpstart your learning experience starting right now. Hey, thanks for joining me. Our objective for you and I in this video are really simple, is to take a look at some of the really awesome features inside of CBT Nuggets, and secondly, how we can use those features to save you a boatload of time. I remember a story that my dad used to share with me about a farmer who, while in town shopping for supplies, saw a chainsaw. And the salesperson said, this will save you tons of time if you use this instead of a traditional saw. Well, the farmer came back to the store two days later with the chainsaw in hand and said, this dumb chainsaw, it takes me longer to cut down trees using this than a traditional saw. And so the salesperson was really confused. So the salesperson takes the chainsaw, starts it up, ring, gee, 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 and the farmer said, what's that noise? What's that noise? So the reality is that chainsaw really could save that farmer time if he knew how to properly use it. Now you might be asking, okay, Keith, how does that apply to us? In our case, we need two basic things. We need to know, first of all, what tools exist. And secondly, how to use those tools to get the absolute most out of our time. So I've got a question for you. What would be the most efficient way for you and I to go over the detailed features on the website? Now, if you're saying, Keith, a demonstration, you and I, my friend, are on the same page. Let's do it. So our very first task is to log on. So when we go to the CBT Nuggets website, we're simply going to click on the member sign-in link, supply our username and password, and then click on get started. Now, let me point out something really cool. Let's say that you and I just logged in for the first time. We're going to have this welcome video that we can play. And by the way, that's the video that you and I are watching right now. But after we start watching some training videos, for example, on Microsoft or Cisco or what have you, the next time we log in, it's going to have the exact video that we were watching right here. So we can click on it and jumpstart right back into where we left off in our previous session. So that means if you only have like 10 or 15 minutes to study, then in less than 30 seconds, you can log in and resume right to where you want to be. So you might ask, okay, Keith, well, how do I get the ball rolling initially? Well, let's say we want to go ahead and get Microsoft certified or Cisco certified. All we're going to do is go to this link right here called video training, click on it. And here we have our courses that are grouped. Here's IT training, here's project management, office productivity, as well as practice exams that are available all by simply going to the video training link. So as an example, let's say we want to get Microsoft certified. So we'll simply click on Microsoft and then scroll down. It has tons and tons and tons of Microsoft related courses that we could then take. Now, if you and I know the exact course that we want to focus on, that's great. However, if we aren't sure exactly, okay, which courses do I need for a certain certification? CBT Nuggets has made it really easy to find exactly what we need. To do that, we can scroll back up to the top and we can use this option right here called certification playlists. And staying with the Microsoft example, we'll go down to Microsoft certifications. And here you and I can click on the certification that we're interested in, and it will give us not only the details for that certification, but also the related courses that we can take that will help us prepare for that certification. You'll notice that in addition to playlists for Microsoft, we also have CompTIA, Cisco, Oracle, and Linux. And we can click on any one of these items to see the certification playlists for that vendor. So let's take a look at some of these certifications in the Microsoft category. We have MCSA SQL Server, MCSA Windows Server 2008, 2012. Let's do that one. So let's click on MCSA Windows Server 2012. And here's what I'd like you to do. As we're going through this tutorial together, feel free to pause me and then try it yourself. I will be here when you come back, no doubt. So now that we've selected the MCSA Windows Server 2012, it shows us the level. In this case, it's entry level as opposed to intermediate or expert level. It has the total number of hours of training that's available. In this case, it's 47 hours worth of videos, and it's made up of 81 videos. It's also showing the various exams required for that certification. So it looks like from Microsoft, there's three exams. And wouldn't it be great if we had courses for each one of those? And if we scroll down just a little bit, here are each one of those courses. So it has the title of the course here, has the trainer. So James and Tim have created these. How many videos are in each one? It also lists right here that there are practice exams available for each one of those courses. And one of the great things about these practice exams that are available through CBT Nuggets is that they are included with your annual subscription or for your corporate account. So it's like a one-stop shop. You can watch the videos to watch, learn, and conquer, and then assess and verify your knowledge of the topic by using the practice exams. Now to see the details that are in this course, all we need to do is click on this arrow and it will show us the details. So if we scroll down, it has a little overview of the actual title. So to watch one, all we have to do is simply click on the link and it will automatically start that video for us. And it keeps track of where you are in the video. So if we watch a little bit now, we come back later, we can jump right back to the point where we left off. 
I'd like to share with you another feature. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the details of that specific course. And the way we got here, we selected this MCSA Windows Server 2012 playlist. If we want to take this playlist and make it part of our own personal playlist, we are only one click away from doing that. Check this out. All we need to do is click on Add Path to Your Playlist. Click on it. And now, whenever we go back to our training, our personalized training, this playlist with those three courses will be part of our personal playlist. And if we want to start watching, so we can simply click on watch now. And normally I would recommend starting with the first course and the first video in that course. In this case, it's the introduction. So we'll click on that. And now we're actively watching this video. So I'm going to go ahead and pause him. And let me talk about a couple other really cool features. One thing I've noticed is that people come from a wide range of experiences and backgrounds and languages. And for example, if we're watching a video and we just want to speed up the pace at which that video is being played, there's a speed control option that can show up right here. You simply have to click on download. It adds a little feature to enable that functionality. And then if you're going over something that you want it sped up a little bit, you can increase the rate at which it's played back. And it's some really good technology too, because as the rate increases, the pitch doesn't increase. So we don't start sounding like a chipmunk. It's just a faster presentation. So we can control the speed either higher or lower by using the control that'll show up in this bottom left-hand corner. And that, my friend, is pretty darn cool. Especially if you just want to do a quick review of something you've already seen and you'd like to go through that review a little bit faster. Another really cool and convenient feature is that if you are subscribed for the practice exams and if there's a practice exam for the course that you're currently watching, there's a link for it right here. So all we need to do is click on that link and that would open a separate window for the practice exam space. Someone once said that repetition is really important in the process of learning. And in that light, there's also an MP3 download option for the audio for the videos. So you might ask, okay, Keith, how would that help? Well, let's say for example, that you and I are going on a trip. We know that we're going to have several hours in the car or on a train or on a bus or what have you. We could download the MP3 beforehand and then listen to it to go ahead and reinforce those concepts that were taught in the video. And that's a very powerful option that again can help reinforce those concepts that we're learning. Another really cool feature is the Nugget Lab files. Let's say for example that we're watching a video together and the instructor presents a six step process to accomplish some task. So we have these six specific steps. Now you and I could write that down and make notes and that would be perfectly fine. In fact, it would help reinforce the concept. But what the instructor might also do is include those steps in a file in the Nugget Lab files for the course that you're watching. So anytime the instructor says, oh, these support files or this reference documentation is available in the Nugget Lab files, to get those files, all we need to do is click right here. It will download those and then we will have them. And those Nugget Lab files won't be just for this one video. It'll be for all the videos in this course. And the objective is to make it really easy for you and I to get our hands on any support files that the trainer is making available inside of a course. There's also a link right here where you can provide trainer feedback on the video that you're currently watching. Another really cool feature is bookmarks. Let's say for example, we're watching a video and we get to a point where there's some topic being discussed and we think, oh man, I absolutely want to come back to this exact spot on demand if I ever need to regarding some topic. To create a bookmark, all you do is you go to that certain place in the video. So for example, let's go to the two minute and 52 minute mark in this video. And then under the bookmark section, we'll simply click on add bookmark. It automatically has the timestamp and then we simply give it a label. And let's say for example, he was talking about accessing LDAP. So we give it a title with LDAP access or whatever we want to call that bookmark and simply click on submit bookmark. So we now have that bookmark saved and we can refer to it anytime we need to. There's also the opportunity to add notes that will be saved for you inside of your CBT Nuggets workspace. So for example, we want to add some notes about LDAP. We could add those notes. And so anything you'd like to add as a note, as far as reinforcing the concepts or some detail that you want to remember, you can add those notes and those are saved automatically for you. So let's do this. Let's scroll up to the top and let's click on this CBT Nuggets logo in the upper left-hand corner. That takes us to the main page. We're still logged in. Now, do you notice anything different about this main page? Instead of giving us the welcome video, which is that video that we're watching right now, it's now giving us the opportunity to pick up where we left off. So what that means to you and I is that if we were logged on yesterday watching a video and then we logged on today, we now have an opportunity with one click to go back. And if we click on this link right here, it not only takes us back to that course, but it'll take us back to the exact video in that course at the exact time where we stopped watching it in our previous session. 
And check this out. Under our personal playlist, we now have the playlist for Windows Server 2012 because we said add it. Because we created at least one bookmark, we're going to see that bookmark right here. And because we created a note, we can very quickly go back to that note by clicking on this link right there. With the entire objective to make it really easy for you to get in and out very quickly and to be able to easily navigate between your bookmarks and notes with a simple click. So as an example, let's go back to the playlist by clicking on that. So there's our playlist that we can then expand, look at the details and actually start watching the videos right here. Or if we go back to the homepage, so we click on LDAP access, it'll take us back to that point in the video. I think it gives us a few seconds right before that bookmark so we can make sure we see that portion and it starts to play it again. And let's go back to the homepage one more time. And if you and I want to see the notes that we've made, we'll simply click on the link here, series introduction. That was the name of the video where I created some notes. So if you and I had a whole bunch of notes that we've created as we've enjoyed and watched our videos, this provides a sorting facility, if you will, that'll sort it based on the course, the title of the video in that course, and then our respective notes that we've made. And to go back to the homepage, we simply click on the CBT Nuggets logo in the upper left-hand corner once again. A question I get all the time on social media is asking about new courses. Individuals asking, hey, I understand you're creating a new course on XYZ. When is that going to be available? And I am totally excited about the enthusiasm for our new courses. If you and I want to watch the videos in a new course that's being created, you and I don't have to wait till the end. As a subscriber, we can watch the videos that are produced as they're created. And to do that, it's really simple. Up here under video training, which is a convenient way to get to the IT training or project management or office productivity, there's also this really cool link right here for upcoming training. If we simply click on it and then scroll down, it shows us all the current courses that are currently in production and how many videos of them are completed. So for example, Anthony and I are creating a troubleshooting mastery series. And as of today of this recording, there's eight of those completed. So if you and I wanted to watch any of those eight videos, we simply click on the actual title and that takes us to the existing videos in that course that are currently available. And so to watch them, we simply click on a link and begin the process of watch, learn, and conquer. Now, because we started this video, check this out. If we go back to the homepage, right here where it says, pick up where you left off. And if we click on this link right below, it'll take us to the exact video and exact spot that we were in that video. And to me, that's really exciting because within 30 seconds, I can jump right back into where I left off from a previous session. Another way to get to your playlist and your bookmarks and your notes is to go to my training, which is right here. And if you notice, it has a link for my playlists and my notes, which is right there, and my bookmarks. They just made it really easy and convenient to get back to your stuff so you can jump right back to the process of watch, learn, and conquer. Another question that's really important to answer is, okay, how do I change my password if I need to? And the answer to that is you go up here to your name, you simply click on the drop-down menu, and then you click on your account. And from here, you have the opportunity if you click on edit my account, that's where you go and change your password. Also, this is where you could validate what subscriptions you currently have, what you've ordered in the past, manage your payment options for the subscription and so forth. Also, in the upper right-hand corner, when you click on your name, when you're done with your study session for the day, this is also how you would log out. You know, another thing I'd like to share with you, we talked about using a certification playlist, but what if you and I wanted to just create our own playlist? To do that, we go to video training and let's use Cisco as an example. And we'll simply scroll down and let's say we want to have IPv6, throw in a little GNS3, a little CCNA wireless, and we want to create our own playlist. To do that, with those selected, simply click on add right here. And we'll call this our playlist. And we'll simply click on add. So now that we have that playlist, we'll go back to our homepage. This playlist exists, which has the IPv6, the GNS3, the CCNA wireless in it. And if we click on that playlist, it takes us to those titles. And if we want to start watching them, you simply open up the details for each one of those courses and click on the play button to get going. It's as simple as that. And of course, if we stopped right now and log back in later, and if we click on this link right here, it takes us back to the course. And if we click on this lower link, it takes us back to the exact spot in that video that we were watching so we can resume. So take a look at all these features. I think we've addressed every single one of those in this video together. And like the farmer and the chainsaw, now that we know these features exist, we can start to use them. And I absolutely encourage you to start using them now.
So what are your next steps to be really successful with CBT Nuggets? Number one, schedule some time. Allocate the time for yourself so you can go ahead and watch the videos. As you watch the videos, you're going to learn how the technologies work and why they operate the way that they do. As you and I continue this journey together, we'll also learn how to configure the related technologies. And as you and I begin to apply what we've learned regarding the technology, we'll not only be able to configure it, but we'll also be able to verify and troubleshoot it. And when we get to that level, that is absolutely conquering. And remember, as we take this journey together, you and I or one of the other instructors, remember to always have fun and enjoy the process. I have had a lot of fun in this video. I'm glad you've joined me. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.